two parts to it, okay? So here we go. Highlight. Weighted mean. What does weighted mean, right? You put weights on different categories. That's really what it is, okay? Data points are not all equal in value. So for example, a teacher may assign different weights to different parts of a student's grade. So, right, you might have assignments worth 45% final of the final grade, the quiz is 15, and the exam may be worth 40%. If you take sciences in university, your final exam could be worth 40 to 50 or 60% of the grade. That gives you a lot of anxiety, right? Like, I remember, you're like, I need to do well on this exam or else tuition, you wasted your tuition on that course, right? So everything is weighted on the exam. We don't do that uh, in high school. Maybe we should do more of that to prepare you, but that would maybe not be that fair. All right. Um, here's weighted mean is calculated when certain data entries are worth more than others. Okay, I'm trying to repeat the message here. We're going to talk about, I, I branched this into two categories, guys. Weighted mean where you have percentages. We're going to deal just with that today. And then the other one is weighted mean with repetition when things are repeated. Okay. So when you notice a table with percentages, right? When you notice there's a table with percentages, you need to check, right? Check to see if rows add up to 100%. If the answer is yes, we will have to divide by 100, okay? That's what you need to remember. If the answer is yes, you will have to divide by 100. And the steps are simple for weighted mean, okay? I'm going to put that right here, steps. For weighted mean. Ready? We multiply. Add, divide, multiply, add, divide. If you remember that, you can score, even if you don't ace it, you can score two out of three marks just like that on a question like this. Ready? You look at the chart, right? You look at this table. You have your scores, the actual scores in every category, and you have the weight that is associated with every category. And you should see, hey, Mr. Dirksen said something about percentages, but both of them have percentages. What's up with that? I want you to check which one of those adds up to 100. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Some of you won't need to do this after a while, but this is the fail-safe method. I add up all the numbers at the top, oops, and that gives me 259, eh, right? That's 259. So far, I don't have to divide by 100, not needed. Let's check the second row here. 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 40, that does add up to 100, 100%. Therefore, divide by a hundred. Just write that down for now. Okay. So when it comes to the third step here, which says divide, we're no, we know we're gonna have to divide by a hundred. Okay. So the first step is multiply, right? Multiply. So what we do is we multiply across categories like this. So, I don't know, I'm going to go multiply like this. So, let's go ahead and show that. So, we are in weighted mean category because we have got two different categories. So, we go 45 times 15 plus, so that's this one here, plus 39 times 20 plus 85 
times 25 plus 90 times 40. Now you've multiplied, that's step number one. Step number two, I just did that, that would be add, okay? That's what I did here. I was adding all of my products. Stop talking fancy language, Mr. Dirksen, I don't like that. Products is when two things multiply, okay? Whatever that is, what the answer is, that's a product, right? Two times four is eight, eight is the product. Now, the last step is divide. So we just go like this. I'm gonna highlight this step. What should I use? I'm out of options here. I'm gonna use this one. And so this is my divide right here. So I'm going to divide by, in this case, I know I'm going to have to divide by 100 because Mr. Dirksen told me if I roll, if one of these rows involving percentages adds up to 100, I'm just going to have to do that. Okay. So now clean it up. It's a matter of cleaning this up. So 45 times 15 on my calculator, 675 plus 39 times 20, right? This is 780. 85 times 25, 21.25, and 90 times 40, 3,600. So just, I, I will usually give you enough room to show your work, and I still divide everything by 100. And let's do one more row. Well, yeah, one more we'll probably do. I'm going to add all of this up. I have this on my calculator already, so I'm just going to go backwards. Right. Seventy-one eighty. Seventy-one eighty divided by a hundred. And now, right like now, it's just a matter of dividing this by a hundred. You know the decimal is going to shift to places, and that ends up being seventy-one point eight percent. This is the overall score for Janus. That's your average. That's how we come up with your average in, in general, okay? Except for I keep track of all your ACs, right, on a spreadsheet, and then I just put that in for the unit, and it, it puts a weight on it. Okay? So in this case, overall score for Janus is 71.8%. Look at it this way. Didn't do so well in assignments, right? Scored 45% under the assignments. Failed, basically, the assignment category. Quizzes did even worse, 39%. But when it came to midterms and the exam, Janice probably, you know, said, I need to study hard for this one, right? Did pretty good here. So that's why the average is 71.8. So let's make a conclusion here. Is going to be the last thing I do. Okay, calculate Janice's uh, average score if every category weighed the same. Every category weighed the same. How would the average change? Okay, so this is what we're asking here. Just finding a regular average. I'm going to take her score for assignments, 45%. I'm going to take the score for quizzes. I'm going to take the score for midterm and the final exam. Notice that there's nothing multiplying them. They all weigh the same. You doing your assignment weighs the same thing as the exam. So all we would do here is divide it by, we added up four scores, right? So we're going to divide this by four. That ends up being uh, 259 divided by 4, which is 64.75%. Okay, This would be the average if the weight would be taken away. And it makes sense because didn't do so well for quizzes and assignments, right? And since they're all the same weight, you doing well on the exam doesn't necessarily help you all that much. 
So that's our conclusion here. It says, why is the weighted mean greater? Why is this greater? And the answer is Janice did best on the categories with, with the highest weights. Okay. This is due to the fact. Let me zoom into that. Okay. This is due to the fact that Janice scored the highest in the categories that weight the most. That's basically why that is, okay? So for Janice, it works out. Weighted mean is better than um, everything just being the same, okay? Thank you, guys. That's it for today.